The idea of meta is a big thing for me in my work, where like the work becomes about the work, yeah. about the work, which is about the work. And, and so I'm chasing my tail a lot. And for me, that's a lot of fun because I'm playing with process, I'm playing with ideas, concepts, and, and, and materials. We are here today with David Ockbaum, American painter, uh, in the frame of the exhibition Hypnagogic uh, uh, Atlas, uh, together with the Italian sculptor Dario Gibaudo. I, I began in probably 1991 was when I formatively started to pursue art as a life journey. So probably when I was 18, 19 years old is when I started going to, uh, to really think about it as a, a way of life. In your work, you find a very different uh, uh, mixture of medias, yes. all coexisting harmonically in one unique piece. You yeah. use photography, you use uh, carbon uh, um, transfers, transfers yeah. uh, silk print, uh, acrylics painting, freehand sketches, well, this, some poetry even. Like, you know, the most difficult question for me is always what, what is my media? I'm very interested in process. I love the process that it, it takes to get to the finished point of a painting, whether it's it's acrylic painting or, or photography. For me, the, the 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 journey is the reward to the final uh, product or piece, and the experience of process is really what gets my juices flowing. And if I get a little bored with a piece that I'm working on, I need to change the speed, either more spontaneous or more controlled or loose, you know, I really don't like to sit in one place for very long. I mean, I know you have also like some series that are pretty much only photography, yeah. uh, almost pure photography, and still in them you have the same warmth of vibes of your mixed media uh, yeah. painting. How do you think you achieved something like that? Well, I think by bouncing back and forth a lot through media, I'm, I'm really working an idea out many different versions of that story, so to speak. So if the, the concept of the idea I work out in a sketch and then I move it to a photograph version or a sculptural version, and by working through this process over and over and over, also slowly the, the processes overlap and mix and then separate again. So it's, it's a very kinetic sort of thing that happens with the body of work that I'm working on. Yeah. which keeps me interested. It can, it, it can be a little bit confusing, I think, sometimes for, for viewers to see what exactly it is I do and what is my work, and they can separate the categories, my photography, my painting, my sculpture, but in the studio where everything is created, it's, the narrative is pretty consistent through, and you can see the entire story together, and they're all like characters oh, within yeah. a story, and each character has its own uh, personality and character as well, but they can coexist, like different people can get along even though they're from different backgrounds or cultures. And and yeah, and <laughs> and this can this can harmonize. And finding this harmony for me is the the you know the uh, the practice that yeah. I enjoy to do mm -hmm. to find different ways to express an idea. Clear sometimes I want to be more abstract and leave things open up for interpretation. Sometimes I really want to pinpoint very specifically what it is I'm saying yeah. to be on the nose. And being on the nose sometimes is too easy for, for, for me to feel satisfied with a project. So yeah. then I cut it open and spread it out and really just, just get the guts of the idea all over the place. And this could come in a form of a landscape that is con containing a lot of what it is I'm trying to say in one other piece. I saw that you have recurring themes yep. in your work popping up. For sure, the, uh, the Bruegel uh, ta Bubble Tower, yep. uh, it's a light motif, if you want, mm. of accompanying your body of work. Mm. And for sure, we want to know why? Your why, fascination why you? on this, sure. but as well like some symbol that you is like between the where. Uh, 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 yes, thank you. I yeah, have no oh. idea. This is the thing, the ladder, sure. uh, and as well the houses itself. So yeah. It's like not only in the tower uh, constellation, wow. but it seems to be a very important topic. The, the squiggles and the ladders and the houses, and the little things. They 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 really are channeling the the most basic and 
simple beginnings of, of creating art for me because they are very, very naive and they, they represent the basic doodle, you know, for me. It's, 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 it's the most immediate expression of like intentional mark making on a painting. And they also contain a limitless metaphor to it. They, it could really trigger something in somebody else than it does for me. But there's also something very recognizable about it. Because you could be sitting like, um, you know, remember seeing you sit on the phone and you're drawing tiny pictures yeah. and what comes up over and over is the tiny house or this or, or just, you know, you running the pencil, you know, pointlessly. These are very like, I don't know, human condition related sort of ideas. Plus the things like ladders have come to represent, you know, um, the sign of collaboration with all the rungs of a ladder and collaboration is a big part of my process, working with other artists and people. Connection with the hurtian. Yeah, it's, a it's about elevation, you know, from the Jacob's Ladder, there's this, and also it's a form of escape, entry, exit. It's, it's got like a lot of potential. It's sort of my way of also being able to aesthetically, you know, place marks in a painting that it's like adding certain notes to harmonize the rest of the work for me. The Bruegel Tower specifically was what I remember as a child, the very first um, book that, of art that I picked up and reacted to when I saw the, his, his Tower of Babel and his Triumph of Death painting, these two pieces, very, very firm in my memory. And it hit me and it just, I responded to it. It's like I came online at that moment with art and it, it stuck with me. I was considering the tower. I never looked at his tower and painted from it. But I was invited to do a show a few years ago where it was all about celebrating your heroes or an artist that you wanted to emulate and imitate. It was all about take your favorite painting and recreate it. And I always thought this is kind of a kitschy idea, but I thought this was a perfect opportunity to full front engage Bruegel's tower. And I copied it and I created a replica. Mm. And I was amazed about how wrong I've been doing towers as compared to his. After doing that, that opened my eyes again to another way of application to something that I, I love, which was creating towers. My habits from the studio with what I learned from him created the two new works, the Twisted Tower and We Were, we Were Giants. So these are like the post, you know, these are the, 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 the children of the, you know, of those two processes together. Uh, in these three new pieces with the tower, yep. uh, I've noticed that you introduced uh, in your work uh, the the flying bird perspective, the horizon line, Piero della Francesca style. Yep. My deeper embrace for my landscapes over my figurative stuff also opens the door to explore more. Um, technique and and experiment further with uh, the, the, the way that the land actually rolls. This works reminds me more of like the first uh, body of work I've seen uh, of yours back in 2005-06. Tell us about the process when you add like a lady element sure. uh, and how do you start to do it? Photography wise my, my strong my strong foot is in the studio compared to outdoors. I still shoot a lot more outdoors over the past 15 years but it all started in the studio and I was doing all my model work in, in the studio as well because I was creating the environment around them with paints. So it didn't matter where they were placed, I created it afterwards. The idea of meta is a big thing for me in my work where like the work becomes about the work. Yeah. About the work, which is about the work. And, and so I'm chasing my tail a lot. And for me, that's a lot of fun because I'm playing with process. I'm playing with ideas, concepts and, and, and materials. So this, this particular piece is a very good example of those two uh, combination of process and approach combined where I am adding figurative as well as the collage element to the work. That's another recurring theme, women eating their houses. A lot of the work, because I bounce around a lot with material and it gets confusing even for me, it will be divided up within certain groupings that I title. The eating the houses I just refer to as my consumption 
uh, series. Photography and, the, the, and, and, and all these elements that go through, go through a lot of abuse. There's a lot of, of rubbing, pressing, hammering, pushing, and scraping, and canvas, of course, naturally cannot accept that kind of abuse. Yeah. And the layering and the heat and the cold, it's the stuff that I put this through to make this process of transfer work the way I want, you cannot use something that is it's so so fragile or soft. It, it can have no resistance. I need something heavy and solid. I put wax in selective areas because the wax is part of an element that I've also over the past 15 years. Okay. So I start besides finding the right wood and papers and everything, all the elements that get mixed in also has their history of sustainability, what it takes to, to, to make them and keep them and to keep the artwork. So something like the wax, for instance, was made to protect the piece mm -hmm. while eliminating the need to protect it with glass. So, and the process of making it, I had to come up with my own recipe, the right amount of each element. And for me, all that stuff is, is super fun. Yeah. Well, once again, this is again, pulling in the idea of Babel because this is all these different languages being spoken. Mm -hmm. This is all the yeah. different processes being mixed together and I am trying to achieve something like the alchemists are trying to create gold from other elements. I'm trying to take all these different ideas and thoughts and things that have existed and existed presently with me in my own mind yeah. and create something that is like gold. You know, making one thing overtake another or mm -hmm. some things just clash. They don't mix like colors that don't go well together. Sometimes techniques don't go well together and it's just arbitrary and unnecessary and finding that harmony yeah. in this chaos is a perfect example of human existence for me because we are trying to remain in a structured something that makes sense living amongst a universe of chaos thank you so much david for for bringing us uh, and accompany us in oh, this you. journey in your inner world and your artwork and uh, we will see you will see a lot of him uh, in the future so keep tuned and uh, yeah. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Berlin.